Man, this is crazy. Look at the temperature outside. Outside would be the porch and the chicken coop area 34 degrees 35 degrees but look at the dog apartment 49 degrees so that insulation works man yeah not only that my light bulb blew out on my ceiling fan it ain't no ordinary light bulb it's one of these little dudes so I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store and find one of these little dudes. I bet these little dudes probably cost ten dollars too, because little dudes always cost more than big dudes. I got a whole case of big dudes, but all I gotta have is this little dude. Uh, well, it lasted a long time, probably five, six years for this little dude. Rooster. You get back in the house with my sock. Look at her. Rooster. Rooster. Where are you going with my sock? You're the biggest sock, sock thief I've ever seen. What are you guys barking at? You don't need my sock out here. You do better not bury it. Look at her. You bring my sock back. We gotta go retrieve my sock. Little butthead. Come here. Come here. You're not funny with my sock. She's a sock, sock thief. That's just Tilly. She's coming for her morning milk bone. Okay. I got your milk bone. Get your milk bone. Tilly Tillerson from Tillerville. Oh, they're full of. All the dogs are full of piss and vinegar today. You just gonna leave my sock out in the middle of the yard, Rooster? You're not gonna bring it back in? Early out on the build, and look here. I got a sweatshirt on, man. That's right. 34 degrees when I woke up this morning. Whew. Just about lost the garden. May have not, may have done some damage, I don't know. But I'll take it. That garden wasn't doing nothing anyway. All right, we're gonna see how much I can get done today. Uh, one thing I did discover, not a big deal, but it has to be dealt with. In there. <coughs> that T111 under there needs to be painted. Yeah. And I think the best way to do that is just to go ahead. There's only a few screws in this as far as I can reach from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop them out, pull this piece up, move it out of the way, go inside the screen patio where I can just stand on a ladder and paint that. Cause I don't feel like laying on my belly, reaching underneath to paint. So we're gonna have to get that painted. Uh, you can see I got the flashing on that already. And we'll see what else. I might run some uh, foam up in there. Gotta wait till I get there to see, but the only bad thing is I've already got this siliconed around, but I'll just have to clean it up and do it again. No big deal. All right, I'm gonna have my couple cups of coffee and let it, that sun get up a little bit and get on out here, man. Let's see where we get. I'm not making no guarantees on the progress, but there will be progress. All right, here's where we're beginning this morning. I've removed this piece of metal roofing and somehow I've overlooked this little strip of T111. And so what I'm gonna do now is put uh, Make sure it's secured. I see that there's no screws in it. And you can see where the rain that has come down is starting to weather on that. So that definitely needs to be painted and caulked right here along this joist, uh, this rafter. And then I'm gonna get, once I paint that, I'm gonna bend this flashing down a little bit. So any rain that does leak through will get diverted onto the roof. So this shouldn't take me too long. This was something I wasn't planning on doing, but needs to be done. Uh, if that all gets rotten up there, then all this was for nothing. I'd have to tear it all apart. So that has to be waterproofed very well. And you can see here, I've got the flashing uh, that's going, that will divert the water that, that leaks through on the deck. It'll come down onto the metal roof. And there will also be a piece of flashing from the house uh, onto, 
diverting it onto that and the boards will be over that flashing so no water should get in and i have and so when it rained a few times it's it seeped through here and i went and had to go and tighten all these down so it's good and sealed now so i'm not gonna waste much time filming this or anything let's just get it painted and uh, get the roof back on and go upstairs and see what we can do uh getting the deck on <laughs> Well, got that all painted up there. Got a good thick coat. Got a good thick of silicone caulk all the way down there. Yes, it's caulk with silicone. And so I'm going to slide this roofing panel back on and think of my next move, which is most likely going to require me going up top and having a strenuous, strenuous rest of the day. All right. We are up top and the first order of business. I think rather than move 24 of these 30 pound boards, we'll just go ahead and start on this side. I don't think it's gonna matter. And another good reason for that is when I get to that last board, if it's off any bit, that has to be notched and cut anyway. So that's probably the place to end up and i've got a few things to prep but we've got to run the flashing on top here you see i got it on the bottom so anything that drips through uh after the first board it's only going to drip through the uh about hit it about center and then on down but i also as i do this have to put more screws in this roof so that's going to be the challenge i'm pretty much going to be on my knees or my belly man my belly's so big i may not <laughs> I may not be able to reach stuff if I'm on my belly. Well, maybe on my side. Uh, I don't care if I gotta get all my pillows or whatever up here, we're gonna get going. All right, I see right there under the door, and that's actually good, because I can tuck that flashing right up under there. I need to get that multi-tool and cut that piece of wood off, and it wouldn't, won't take me long. I gotta find some nails to uh, put that in with. Well, I could use screws, I guess. I, yeah, roofing screws will work. That's what I use there. And while we're up there, you can see I've got flashing along this edge here. But also, there's going to need to be a piece of this same color as this. I'll cut it out of an uh, old scrap piece. I'll cut down the middle. That's what we did here. Made a flashing out of that. So that water will flow right off of that. And then this... We're going to have another rail or something up here. I haven't got to that point yet. But see, some of this still all needs to be screwed in better. I'll get that as I go, man. But let's start laying some board. All right, I got a couple pieces of flashing bent up. Yeah, I just took my straight edge of uh, my big square and just kind of bent it upwards. You'll see, I can, I'm can. i probably going to crease this better. Uh, I'll put a little silicone. Obviously, I cannot put... I mean, if this was new construction, you would want that underneath that uh, T111 but obviously I can't do that so we're just going to put a bead of silicone on the back of it and screw it to the house and you see any rain that comes and then after uh, we get the decking on we'll put a trim piece across the bottom caulk across the top any water that hits will hit the flashing and go underneath the uh, the decking boards I hope that's the plan just to keep it from seeping in. Uh, if water hit that now, it's going to seep right into the screen porch. I don't want that. All right. I've got to go find a few more pieces of this stuff here so I can work freely. As you can see, it's, it's not going to be fun getting this started. But I think once we get a couple of boards on where I got something to work, then it should be no problem. It's just a matter of how long can I hold out. Oh, man. Bad back. And my knees are my weak spot. And now that I'm up here, this is that board I was talking about that was bowed. Look here. Let me balance myself. That will easily pull back out. And I can see how much it pulled, but it's going to be fine. Alright, flashing's up here in the front it's ready for the first board and uh the issue is i need i need flashing here i think i'm going to do it as i go because i can't i'm not going to pull all them boards out and just to get the flashing behind it so 
we'll just cut them in maybe three strips and the bottom head doesn't have any nails or screws in it so I'm gonna have to do that and I need to paint that too man all the small things yeah and I can't tell you how dangerous this is up here <laughs> I mean if I fell through yeah I don't think that metal roofing is gonna hold me it might but I don't want to do any damage. I almost lost it on that board because that thing's all creaky. But uh, after I get three or four boards on, then I can turn my little butt the other way. Work my way that way. That's the plan anyway. All right, I got the first board in place. And since I really cannot run a tape measure through all them boards, what I've done is from the house, I've put a mark at 32 inches. And I'll put them about every three or four of these. And as I go down screwing these down, I'm not going to put all the screws in right now. Well, this one I probably will. This is the most important board of all of them. So I'm going to screw this one down. Uh, I can get away with probably just two screws in each. And uh, that's just what it's going to be for now. If I see it's too loose, I'll go get some more. Should have plenty of screws anyway. So as I go down, in other words, I'm going to nail here. I'm going to screw these down get my 32 or whatever that is it's 32 from the house from the edge of that board to that mark that's what i want right there as well and there as well and there as well and i'm going to continue to do that through all the way down i guess i don't know any other way to do it but we got a good hit good good nice uh looking fit there underneath that so this I did get this right exactly where the old one was, otherwise the door wouldn't work. Alright guys, this is going to be very, very hard on the old body today, but I want to have a drink on this deck tonight. May even do a live stream, but I don't know, I imagine I'm going to be feeling pretty horrible, but good at the same time, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay, it's okay. Whoa. marks out 32 inches and I'm good up to this point at this point's wanting to bow out so I gotta get it where it needs to be This is not easy on me at all. take me a month of Sundays to do this. I hope not. Alright. 
This is very, very challenging. We gonna get her done. <sighs> Bit off more than I could chew. There ain't nobody else gonna get it done, so I gotta get it done. <sighs> As I get down further, it'll get easier, I hope. I mean, there's still gonna be the getting up and down. But man, getting that first board straight, that is very important. All right. Let me go rest for a minute and then get back to get the second one in. All right, I'm going to try to meander over here and get me another board. But that one there don't look too good. Good thing I got extra, extra length, but not a whole lot. Right, I think I'm going to shoot for that one right there. You can see what I'm walking through here, guys. It's a balance act. All right. This one needs to be set back up. All right. <laughs> oh my God, I got Uga. All right. This is not. Can't wait till I get enough boards to walk on. Uh, that's what I'm shooting for. Enough to put a chair on, have a drink. Right, I'm leaning against this wall. <laughs> Alright. Let's see how far I can scoot this down. Oh. Oh. Get off that board. What is the issue? Uh, do I want? <sighs> <All right. sighs> I could kick myself. I gotta get that board out of there. <sighs> this is the hardest part, having to work, step on these things. <laughs> All right. I forgot to get that board out that I used to squeeze that up. Right, let me work my way over. There's no good place to put a tripod or anything up here, guys. So I've got you on the harness. Hope it works. I'll just slide you down. pick up that board and the back of this harness has a little slack it hit me in the back of the head and I thought a wasp was getting me that's what that little dance was about there until I realized what it was bowl number two all right now when these are green yeah I'm out of breath I've been out of breath all day when these are green which these are still green uh, under that tarp 
didn't allow the air to get in there so there's a lot of sap coming out so when they're green like this you just butt them together so I'm gonna do that but not not extremely tight because uh, they will shrink up because these these boards have not seen any Sun all summer so as soon as they get out here laid out they're gonna start drying out it's gonna have airflow underneath and the hot Sun on top it's only like 72 degrees but it's hot because it's in the open out here yeah, let me take you a walk, walk, turn you around. See how nice this is going to be? Just in time. All the leaves are falling off those trees. I'll have a great view. All right, I'm going to take this thing off, guys. Get this board set. And when I get out here fur, further enough, far enough where I can do some filming, that'll be on probably tomorrow's. All right, well, I have an ounce of energy left, guys. That's it. <laughs> Uh, like I say, you know, I'm, I'm recording every step of the way, and this looks like it may take me a few days. Uh, I've been at it since 7 this morning, it's about 2, and uh, I must have been up these steps 30, 40 times. That, that takes it out of you, and then all the up and down and stuff up here. Oh, man, I'm just, <laughs> I'm beat. So, but we're going to get it done. That first board was took a while and it's in a tight little spot up in there but now the second one and the rest of them ought to go a lot quicker especially when I have enough room where I can turn around and I'm on a solid surface and I don't have to do the balancing act anymore that's the hardest part because you're walking on your toes on some of them joists and then the boards I got on there are pretty flimsy and I almost fell twice straight down Caught, caught myself all the time so I'm not gonna rush this thing but anyway follow me I'm, I'm I should have this done by Sunday I'm hoping I'm not gonna make any promises it gets done when it gets done it's just the way it is but oh this is definitely gonna be the hardest part of the build I, I honestly didn't think it was gonna be this difficult all right GoPro battery died on me in the middle of that clip that I was done talking anyway. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, appreciate it if you'd subscribe, give me a like, give me an unlike. I don't care. I'm gonna go take a nap. I feel every muscle in my body right now. Some I didn't know I had. I'll get through it. Happy trails.